Okay, so The Other Land, which is a very odd, interesting film, international co-production from Polish director uh, Malgorzata Szymoszka. Sorry, my pronunciation is terrible. So it's about a religious cult um, out in the kind of woods, um, cloistered women following a single Manson-like shepherd who's played by uh, Mikhail Hausman who is this kind of charismatic leader. He says he's a shepherd and he's, you know, he's everyone is everyone in, in his group is divided either into wives or daughters, sisters. And basically he controls their entire lives. Here is a clip. My wives, you all came to me broken, searching, hurt by a cruel world that is more filled with pain every day. I took every one of you in. I protected you. I sacrificed my life for you. I gave you shelter. I gave you daughters and sisterhood and life. So at the center of the drama is. Um... Rafi Cassidy's seller, who is this teenager who is coming of age and her coming of age coincides with her beginning to question the kind of everything about this life, this world in which she lives. And she meets up with another character who starts to, you know, make her suspicions more concrete. And it's then basically about her discovering herself and starting to rebel and it's written by uh, Catherine S. McMullen and it's filmed in County Wicklow and the scenery is actually astonishing and I mean I there are many films about cult life I mean you just think recently obviously we had Midsommar you know before that The, the Wicker Man, Martha Marcy, May Marley weirdly enough there's two other films there's that strange Canadian film Ticket to Heaven with Kim Cattrall about a cult from I think it's from the 1980 1980 1981 and then also at that play for today instant enlightenment including VAT and I started thinking about all these things when I was watching the film which I found it's very visually arresting and it's got a, a really sort of strange sinister overbearing air to it and and also some in the design, to some extent, it reminds you of The Handmaid's Tale, which, again, is a way of looking at an alternative society as a way of commenting on your own society. So, OK, exactly what's happening to them is happening in this cult, which is removed from the mainstream of society. But it's a story about, you know, a man who defines himself as the Messiah, lording it up over these women who he, he basically abuses and exploits whilst telling them that what he's doing is looking after them and protecting them and loving them. It's not a huge leap between a world that we know and a world that we can imagine. I mean, I thought it was actually very well done, not least because it did have a very sinister, oppressive atmosphere. And there are these little kind of flashes of surreal horror, which I thought worked rather well. So you can find it. It's on Mubi, but it's also in cinemas and it's called The Other Lamb. I've got I've got it down as an 18 certificate. Would that be right? Uh, that may well be right. Yes, there are there are some images in it that are alarming. OK, I'm just wondering how alarming that is. It's obviously being treated in in a slightly different way because it has to to go from a 15 to 18. That has to be. Yes, I hadn't alarming. noticed that it was an 18. I'm only noticing that now looking at this on the thing. I'm slightly surprised by that. But then, you know, hey, it, it, yeah, I'm, I'm a living embodiment of that Simpsons thing. <laughs> if I don't watch the violence, how will I become immune to it?